Good morning, students. Welcome to your English class. My name is Carlos Silva, and I'm your English teacher. This is day number four of unit four. Are you ready to learn English? Let's begin. Day number four, signs in the city. Let's explore signs. El día de hoy vamos a continuar explorando señalamientos que podemos encontrar en nuestra ciudad. También vamos a explorar vocabulario nuevo relacionado con los señalamientos. Let's begin by exploring the vocabulary. Listen and repeat after me. Stop. Stop. You have to stop your car if you see this sign. Este señalamiento nos indica que tenemos que hacer un alto cuando vemos este señalamiento. School crossing. School crossing. These signs indicate there's a school near and there might be students crossing the street. Este señalamiento nos indica que cerca se encuentra una escuela. Por lo tanto, puede haber personas cruzando la calle, por lo que necesitamos reducir nuestra velocidad. For the disabled. For the disabled. A space designed for the disabled people. Este señalamiento nos indica que existe un espacio diseñado para personas con capacidades diferentes. Por lo tanto, debemos respetarlo. Children at play. Children at play. This sign means there's a zone where children play. You need to slow down and be cautious. Este señalamiento nos indica que cerca hay una zona donde hay niños jugando. Por lo tanto, debemos tomar precaución y reducir la velocidad. Bus stop. Bus stop. Este señalamiento nos indica que puedes tomar el autobús en ese lugar. Bus stop. Train station. Train station. These signs indicate there's a train station near. Nos indica que hay una estación de trenes cerca. No crossing. No crossing. This sign indicates you cannot cross there. No puedes cruzar en esa área. Restrooms. Restrooms. This sign indicates there are restrooms in that place. Este señalamiento nos indica que hay sanitarios en ese lugar. Very well. Let's review the vocabulary. Stop. For the disabled. No crossing. School crossing. Train station. Restrooms. Children at play. Bus stop. Very well, now let's practice. Say what sign you can find in these places. Vamos a practicar el vocabulario. Tienes que decirme en qué, qué señalamiento puedes encontrar en los siguientes lugares. Supermarket. Here we have at the supermarket entrance. What signs can you find at the supermarket? Stop. For the disabled. No crossing. Children at play, train station, bus stop, school crossing, restrooms. What signs can you find at the supermarket? Are you ready? You can find restrooms. You can find the restroom sign. You can find the for the disabled sign at the supermarket. Park. What signs can you find at the, at the park? Are you ready? You can find children at play sign. 
you can also find the sign for the disabled. Train station. What sign can you find at the train station? Are you ready? You can find the train station sign. School. What signs can you find at school? Are you ready? You can find signs for the disabled. You can find the school crossing sign. Very well. What signs can you find on the street? Are you ready? You can find the bus stop sign. You can find the stop sign. You can find the no crossing sign. Very well. Now let's practice more. Open your OK One book to page 38 and 39. Vamos a abrir nuestro libro en la página 38 y 39 para seguir practicando. What do you need, what do, you need to do? Lesson 13. Do you know these signs? Where would you put these signs? Draw lines to put them on the map. La primera actividad que vamos a realizar es, vas a observar estos tres señalamientos y con una línea vas a trazar en el lugar donde puedes colocarlos en la ciudad. En este mapa que tenemos aquí. Observa que aquí están los lugares que vimos en la actividad anterior. Supermarket, train station, park, school, and the street. Listen and point to the signs. Vamos a escuchar este audio y con tu dedo vas a señalar los señalamientos. Are you ready? Let's do it. Track 21. Restrooms for the disabled. Bus stop. Train station. One more time. Track 21. Restrooms for the disabled. Bus stop. Train station. Good job. Let's continue. Now, mark the words for the signs and read them aloud. Vamos a remarcar estas palabras con tu lápiz o un color y después vas a leerlas en voz alta. And that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed today's class. I'll see you next time with a new video. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.